Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, look at everything on the table. It's time to do some reallocation of my Scratch and Save $2,000 savings challenge card. Put it away and let it find some homes and some other challenges and some other things that I need to accomplish before the end of the month. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, if you weren't here last video, I'll go ahead and link it up here above. I did complete my $2,000 scratch off savings challenge, which is a large savings card that saves $2,000 or more dollars. And from that card, I had $2,058 that needs to be reallocated and help those dollars to find a home, whether it's in another challenge and something that needs to be completed by this month. Like there's so many different ways that I'm going to be using it. Okay, so that's what this video is all about. Now in the envelope for my scratch and save challenge, I did have some placeholders. I had three $500 placeholders, which was $1,500 that was in the bank. So I went ahead and headed to the bank and took out the $1,500 and added it to the $558 that was already in the envelope, making it a total of $2,058 that we will be reallocating today. Are y'all ready? All right, I'm guessing that was a yes. So we're gonna go ahead and count the money and get started. Looky here, looky here, looky here. Ah, boy, looky here. All right, so let's see. I have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 1, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. $2,058 total that I will be reallocating today. So let me go ahead and set this money up first and then we'll get started on the things on the table. All right, you guys, honest to goodness, this might get a little bit rough. I kind of got a rough draft of where I want the money to go, but you know, there's some scratch off challenges involved and uh, let's just start here by saying errors may occur, okay? But we just <laughs> move forward as best we can and try to reallocate all this money into some other categories. So let's start right here with the Grow With The Flow Challenge. Now, if you've been here before, you know that in my monthly budget, I planned on having enough in order to stuff this and finish out this challenge for my son's computer, desk, and chair. If you didn't see my monthly budget video, I'll put it up here. But um, yeah, a couple of things happened with my monthly budget. First of all, if you remember, I didn't know how much my electric bill was. Why did it come in at $289? And I'm up here budgeting like 125, out of line. So some of the money that I'm taking from the savings challenge to go into some of these things and finish those, that will free up more money in my weekly budgets that can go towards extra things like the bill, the electric bill that's higher than expected. But don't worry, we will find a home for every dollar within my regular weekly budget. For now, let's go ahead and, you know, work with the money we have on the table. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this Grow With The Flow Challenge. I'm going to be using the Visa V's, Visa V's Expo Pin. And yeah, I think in this challenge, these are for sale in my Etsy store as well. I have one, two, three, four left to color in order to get to 1500 You guys, we have made it because I'm about to put this $400 in there right now, right now. So we're gonna be taking four $100 bills and let me scoot this to the side. All right, let's do it like this. This is 100 in this one, 100 in this one, 100 in this one, and 100 in this one, and we are about to be done saving right before he comes back home so we can get this computer one two three four yeah my son's staying with his dad right now but he'll be coming home soon and we're gonna go get this computer and desk and set him up for success while he's starting middle school so let's get it together there's one so the next time you guys see this little grow with the flow challenge it's gonna be for my daughter's senior year activities, hair, prom, dresses, chorus, fees, all that kind of stuff. Senior dues, whatever. So I'll be setting that up and I'll have it ready to go. The next time you guys see this little challenge, it will be all designated towards graduation. So let's see. All right, and just like that, we have completed it, $1,500 ready to go. And y'all put a check in it. The Grow With The Flow Challenge is done. 
All right, next I wanna move on to the little binder for my daughter's graduation gift. We'll start with August. Even though we haven't hit August, I'm just gonna go ahead and move ahead with it because if I can stay on top of it, that's even better, you know? So for this little planner, if you didn't see it, it's in that last video that I just linked in the cards. And it's all gonna be a graduation gift. For the month of August, I'm just gonna put $100 so far. I'll probably be putting more in August this month coming up. But for right now, we'll start with $100 in there because yeah, we need to get started. <laughs> so that's that. If you, if you guys are looking for this little disc bound planner, you can find it um, through Tina's channel at A Pink Cloth Life. She has a website, I think it's pinkcloth.co and she's selling these. She's taking pre-order for some of these now. They come with like, I think 20 little envelopes inside. I decorated mine. So yeah, you should go over and check her out. I'll link her video for this particular binder down below. Next, I wanna move on to the Easy Mini Cash Budget 1000 or Less Savings Challenge Planner, and we are headed straight to my boo, Let's Save 450. Hold on, let me get the Savings Challenge Binder. All right, so this little um, book is found in my Amazon storefront, link down below, um, and it has over 30 savings challenges in it. Today, we're gonna be working on the Let's Save 450. I love this challenge, it's one of my favorite ones ever. And um, so today I wanna put $100. I don't know if I can get to that exact number, but we're gonna see what we could do. And I'm gonna be coloring them in this color blue. So let me see if I can get $100 going. All right, so let's see. All right, I get four nines. So I have 64 more to go. So let's see. I could do a four. Two. Three. Four. And seven. All right. So I have 41, 41 more to go. All right. So I should do three nines. Let me get another color. All right, I think that worked out. <laughs> I was using the calculator over here to the side to make sure I kind of had it right. Um, but I did, I can't remember what I did anymore. I'm not even gonna recap how I did all this, but I think it's correct. <laughs> and it should be a hundred dollars that needs to go and let's save. I know what I can do. I can actually go over here, put the hundred dollars in and see how much left I need to get to 450 and see if it adds up. So let's see where we're at. That's a smarter idea, don't y'all think? Okay, so there's one. Oh, I need to put 100 in. All right, so we have one, two, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 375. So let's see if this all adds up. 450 minus 375. All right, so I should have $75 more worth of little numbers, so I'm gonna add that really quick. Yeah, y'all, it worked. I don't even know how it worked, but <laughs> but it worked. I need to do 75 more dollars and then I'll be transferring this, let's say 450 challenge back to the back under my 2020 challenges and saving that money back there. So we're almost done with the let's say 450. I think I can get $75 in by the end of the month. This one's about to be done. So that's all the challenges I think I'm gonna do in this little mini savings challenge book. I'll be moving on to another one as soon as I complete 450. I decided for this book, I'm gonna try to complete one at a time, one, 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 and each time be moving it back to the 2020 challenge as it gets done. So we can see when they're all done, how much I'll have saved, okay? So that's it for this book. If you're interested in this, check the link down below for my Amazon storefront. Also for this book, I'm gonna link a comparison video up here that shows all the planners that I've created for budgeting as well as some of these like challenge planners because there's more than one. So you can kind of decide what book will be best for you. All right, next let's move on to some things that I wanna do in here. So let's see, YouTube House Summer. Let's 
spring break. All right, for scratch and save, instead of using the large scratch and save cards, I decided I'd use the new mini cards in order to do this challenge. I do wanna complete all of this before I actually reallocate or move it to the back. Um, this card is a new one that has 350 on one side and 500 on the other, okay? And this card has 100 on one side and 250 on the other. So this is 350 plus 850. So this will be a little over $1,000 when I complete these two and probably more because I'm sure there's lots of scratch and doubles in here. So I'm gonna start with the larger card since we got some large money on the table today. And uh, we're gonna scratch this side and see. I'll, I only wanna scratch two circles unless I get a skip or double, then I'll scratch an extra one. All right, so I got my quarter here. Uh, yeah, we don't wanna whammy. I mean, there's enough to cover it, but still, let's try right here. <laughs> All right, so that's good. That's $55. And let's scratch one more on this side. How about right here? Whoa. All right, and then there's 90. <laughs> so that's gonna be $145, which is not too bad. I mean, if any day's the day to scratch 90, I think today's the day. So we're gonna put $145 over into the scratch and save envelope. So let me gather that. 100, 20, 40. Five. All right, so there's one, 20, 40, 145. And I think I'll be working on this a little bit more this month because I'm gonna have some extra since I already completed the um, Grow With The Flow Challenge. So I'll have some extra to go into challenges and I think I'm gonna be working on this a little bit more. All right, next is, I'm not gonna do the honeycomb, but I am gonna do something with Christmas today. So let's see. For Christmas, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 51, 20, 30, 40, 45. So $1,145. I think I want to do two bulbs today, which will be 120. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's do this one. And let's do this one. All right. And just like that, Christmas has... An extra two bulbs colored, so we only have, uh, let's see, 120, 240 left to get to 1500 for Christmas after we put this 120 in today. So let me go ahead and stuff that. Let's see, 20 and 100. All right, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, 1,100, 12, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. 12, 65. Remember I had an extra $5 in here from... When I first started this challenge, that's how I still have an extra five in there. But that's good, 1265, so I have 260 left for Christmas and we're gonna get that done very soon as well. So that's some allocation of that. Christmas tea, I mean, coffee tea challenge. I still haven't went and got the espresso machine. We just did, let's say 450. Let's work on this flower scratch off challenge. Actually, before I work on this, there's a couple of other things I wanna do. So let me go ahead and get my regular sinking funds binder and put some money in there, and then we'll come back to these last two challenges, okay? Because these are kind of variable. I can figure out what I have left. So I'm gonna hold those to the side. All right, in my regular sinking funds binder, I do wanna put some money on some of these. So let's see. For Janae, she's severely behind Jace. <laughs> right now, she has $625 and Jace has uh, 860, but that's because we went and got the makeup and some clothes. Really makeup came out of here. And yeah, a little bit of clothes and fun stuff. So for today, for Janae, I wanna scratch two dots. She's supposed to have 625, 550, 70, 90, 610, 625. Yeah, 625. So let's go ahead and scratch two dots. Let's see what this is gonna be. 35. Do one right underneath it. And 60. Okay, so that's $95. That's bringing her up. She's not quite to where Jace is, but that's okay. 70.95, and I'll add this money to her tracker off camera. So let me just get all this organized. All right, so we have 5, 56, 20, 40, 60, 87, 7, 10, 20, no, 7, 10, 15, 20, $720 for Janae, which is good. That's bringing her closer to Jay. She's not quite there, but she is closer. I'm gonna put some of that money over in there. I'm not gonna put anything in Jace's. I am gonna put some money in my own um, sinking fund. 
I don't think I'm gonna do the scratch off for it. I'm just gonna add some extra. And for myself, I'm gonna be adding $100. So I have five, six, six fifty, seven, seven fifty, and I'm gonna add $100 to make it eight fifty, five, six, seven, eight fifty. Yeah, eight hundred and fifty dollars. And so if you're looking for the Christmas card or any other scratch off challenges like these, you can purchase these through my um, Etsy storefront. And I'm thinking about running a sale this weekend. So look up, be on the lookout for that. All right, next is household. I do want to put $100 in household. Household right now is supposed to have $175. That's one, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy-five. I'm going to add $100. So there's one, two, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy-five. Two seventy-five 75 for household. And again, I'll update the tracker when the video is over. All right, next thing I want to do is add some money to, uh-oh, I passed it, clothing. We spent some money on clothing and I want to re-up it. So it's 150, 70, 90, no wait, 150, 70, 90, 210. And I'm going to be adding $100. So I'll add two 50s. So that'll be 310. And that's 152, 50, 70, 90, 310. Um, and this is, in case I need to get some more stuff, not necessarily school stuff, but just like clothing in general, I do want to be able to have that. Gingy's not getting anything, beauty's not, groceries, no, date night. Okay, Life Happens is up next. I do want to add some money to Life Happens. It should have 225 in here right now. 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 25. This random scratch-off card is also available in my Etsy storefront, and there's two sides. This side adds up to 150 or more. This side, 175 or more. So they're pretty low numbers. I'm trying to get to $50, so we'll just see what happens. Let's try this one. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> it's not so bad because I said $50. This one says save $20 and scratch again. Okay, that's the randomness of this card. So let's scratch again and we'll scratch up here this time. Are you serious? This one says scratch again. <laughs> I'm hitting all the targets. Jeez Louise. This one says scratch again and double the amount. So now I got to save $20 and I need to scratch again and double the amount. Let's try right here. 35. Okay, so I guess I'm going to be saving 70 today. Then life happens. <laughs> this one definitely has some random things going on underneath it. So we'll put 70 in for today. Oh no, 70 is double the amount plus another 20. Oh my gosh, that's 90. Okay, so $90. And I was thinking, oh, I'll put $50 over in there. It shouldn't be that bad. Psh, look, 1, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 50, 70, 90, 310, and 315 is in Life Happens. But you know what? If life be lifing, I got it. I got it now. So yeah, that, that works. I'll update the tracker later. Back to Escuela. How you say back? I don't know. But um, hold on. Let me let me get it up on Google. Hold on. De vuelta a la escuela. De vuelta a la escuela. All right. Let's do it then. <laughs> this one needs... $520, I think, wait, 1, 2, 220, 232, 40, 240, and it's supposed to have 800 total, so it needs 560. I don't know, but we're going to put $560 in here, so let's do it, because I want $800 for back to school. 1, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 520, 40, 60. Y'all, we down to hardly anything. Where did our money go? It's gone. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 87, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 98. 800 for... And hold on, let me get Google to say it, because... De vuelta a la escuela. De vuelta, de vuelta... Oh, no, wait a minute. De vuelta a la escuela. That's right. Back to school, de vuelta, de vuelta a la escuela is complete. So let's go ahead and put this in here and I can go back to school shopping. I kind of want to wait till my son gets back because he, I'm, I'm sure he's going to want a certain kind of backpack and things like that. So I want him to be able to, per, you know, personally pick it out himself. But that's all I have to stuff in here. Yeah, that's it for this binder. So last but not least, we have these two. The Scratch and Save Skipper Double Challenge book. And the penny challenge. Let's see how much we have. 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. All right, we'll put the 100 towards the penny challenge. 
Let's see if I can get $100 worth of these pennies out of my hair. I want it out of my hair. One, two, three, four. We're going to do four of the biggest ones. No, five. One, two, no, four. Darn. Wait, hold on. Let me see what I can do for $100 with the penny challenge. We could do $24.29, $23.80, $23.31, $24.50, $24.50. And we have 578, so we'll do this one. All right, so let me do a whole $100 worth of situations right here. Before you know, I'm trying to work backwards this time because that whole starting at the top, I got to the end and I had like anxiety. So $100 is going to go into the penny challenge. Here's the jar where I house the penny challenge. We got that ones from last time sitting up on top. Hold on, let me get it all together. Okay, that wasn't gonna work, hold on. Let's get organized and fold the money a little bit. There we go. All right, and there is the penny challenge. Definitely, last but not least, is the Scratch and Save Skipper Double Challenge Book Edition. And in this book, I need to find a way to chunk away 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 dollars. All right, let's see what we could do. This book is available in my Etsy storefront. It has um, over $8,000 worth of challenges in here, several different ones. We've been working on the front, so I think I'm gonna start here. I don't know if I like the idea of skipping all around or sticking to one page, so today we're gonna work on this page. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. Okay, 12, that's not bad. Let me get my calculator, keep it running total of this, because I'm not gonna remember. 12, let's try this one. Seven. All right, we're only up to 19. Let's move, because this page, everything is between one and 20. Let's try one more. Oh yeah, no, nah. we got to move on to a bigger page. We need bigger and better fish to fry today. Or we'll be doing this all day. Okay, so that's 23. So let's move on to, ooh, that's scary. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, let's see what page. I need something that's not going to push me over $25. Let's try this one. This one's between five and $30. So let's try something on this page. Of, uh, uh, would, uh, of course I would get a skip or double. I think I'm a, um, between five. I'm gonna try again. Let's just go for it. Oh, oh no. Okay, so I need $66. So let's see, plus 66. So that's 89 total, and I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, minus 48. I need $41. All right, being who I am, because I should have just skipped instead of doubling, and I don't want to break up my own rules today, because even my own rules can't make this one work. I'm going to go ahead and take $41 out of one of my cash envelopes. So hold on one second. And do I sound sad? because it seems like it should be my envelope that it comes out of, but uh, we ain't doing that. Nope, let's pass it on up. Let's go out of, uh, wait, 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 wait. Life happens because, no, no, no. Let's not take it out of there, let me see. I think I'll take it out of travel. How much does travel have? Travel has 1,000, 2,000, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take 40 out of travel. Because we still got $2,000 and I don't have anything planned right now. And I still have the extra $1,500 from spring break envelope that's for our trip to Florida. So right now I don't need any travel money. So we're going to take 40 out of there. Shh, don't tell nobody, okay? So there's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars. And I think I was supposed to have 89, but you know what? We are gonna chuck a dollar up to the team. So let me get the savings challenge binder. And we're gonna be putting this into the flower 
scratch off envelope. So let me add that in here. Okay, here's 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 6, 9, 7, 9, 8, 9, 9. 400? Count that one more time. There's 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Oh, wait. 20, 20, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 90, 95. 90, 90. All right, so we have $395 in here. I wish I had another five. That would have been a straight 400, but that's okay. So that's the flower scratch off challenge. If you guys are interested in a savings challenge, scratch off book where you could scratch and scratch and scratch, then go find the scratch and save. Skipper Double Challenge book is listed in my Etsy storefront. And again, I'm going to be running a sale this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. All right, quarter back on the table. I think we have done it all. Okay, we have put some in sinking funds. We put some in scratch off savings challenges. We put some in the little easy mini cash savings challenge book. I put some towards Christmas. I put some towards back to school. That's where the chunk of the money went. And even some towards the grow with the flow challenge for my son's computer. Y'all, we did a lot. We did a lot. So yay, yay for a savings challenge. It helps me to get other things stacked up. Some people move their savings challenges to like an emergency fund or... You know, however you want to work it, it really is just a games that you play with yourself in order to save more. And those scratch off challenges, the large ones come in 100, 500, 1000 and 2000. That $2,000 card jaw has helped me really scratch off and save. So we're going to see, hopefully the minis will do the same thing. But yeah, I think that's everything. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you a real one, put this one single emoji right here and that'll let me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. I think next time we're going to start talking about some giveaways for our live at the end of the month. Yep, I'm doing another live at the end of the month and I hope you can be there. This time I might put the date out a little bit sooner, but just give me a minute. Maybe like next week I'll start announcing the date for the live, okay? I have been ordering quite a few things that I want to give away to you guys from other YouTubers, so expect some of that content to be coming very shortly. I'm waiting on a couple of things to arrive. And then also hit the like button for this video. It helps the video to be suggested to others. And share it with someone if you think they need some inspiration to get on their savings game too. Okay? All right, you guys. I will talk to you very shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.